it on. Let me see. Oh, look how scary. <laughs> Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to this week's weekly vlog. We're starting today, it's Wednesday and I've got a busy, busy day. Um, I need to show you some bits and pieces in the house that we've been doing, so I'm so excited about that. Um, I've just really quickly got myself ready, so I've just put a few loose curls in my hair, just a little bit of makeup because we've got a home bargains haul um, to film that will already be up on my channel when you see this um, but I am on like I said before I'm on an absolute mission to get Christmas like done so I'm not panicking in December um, so yeah I'm about to sit down and do that now it's rest day today on my workout program so I'm just trying to like get done all of the jobs that I need to get done so I'm gonna come on and speak to you quite a lot today I would imagine because um there's like I said lots that I want to share with you but I'm going to go and get this filmed now and I will speak to you afterwards okay so that is the haul now filmed I've just taken oh one bag downstairs um I just need to take the rest of the Christmas lights down but I might come up and get those in a moment so I need to go and um import everything onto the laptop so I can um start to get that edited there's a dark load actually in the wash that I'm just waiting for that to finish and then I can put that on the error because it looks like it's a little bit cloudy. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Um, but it's meant to be dry um, so we will take that. Anything that's not raining is just fantastic but actually before I go and crowd my arms up I was going to show you um, the little progress bits we've made on the stairs leading up to my bedroom. So let me flip the camera around and I will give you a little sneak peek. So we still don't have any carpet down, um, work in progress guys, but what Tom has done is he started to prime all of the woodwork. Um, obviously there will be underlaying carpet on these stairs. He's ordered the handrail and the spindles that we need and he has made a little bit of a start on the rest of the mouldings to go um, up these stairs but he has now run out so if you can see down there that's um, not finished that one there so we need another seven lengths which is a little bit annoying because the website that we got this from it's called um, Skirtings For You I'll leave a link down below because I do always get questions actually um, on this moulding so the reason we opted to get it online instead of anywhere like b q is just because it's a lot thicker. The ones, the pieces from b q are a lot thinner. And our panelling in the other rooms is actually made of just like MDF sheets that Tom cuts. If you can see, it's like that. So we've never done, um, this is like the first time we've done the moulding like this in our hallway. And I just wanted it to kind of like look, not similar because it's different, but like be like thick if that makes sense um I don't know you might not know what I'm saying but I just wanted it to look like not flimsy um so yeah we ordered it online but it's 20 pound delivery um because they come in like three meter lengths um so it is what it is I need to get that ordered that should be here next week but we also need to because this is now settled um if you can see there are some cracks so it all needs touching up refilling um and then painting again because Obviously none of this has been final coated, if that makes sense. Um, and we paint everything in wipeable. So this is just like a base coat, if that makes sense. Um, the bottom color is Egyptian cotton, but obviously it doesn't really look like that. It's just so grubby where it's just had one coat on and then it's been left. Um, but yeah, the woodwork has all been primed. So it just looks different like already. We need to cut another panel piece in there so you won't be able to see through there it is going to be boarded in but um we need like a thinner bit of mdf if that makes sense um the bits tom has are a lot thicker so that should hopefully be left over on one of the jobs and then that can be finished 
And then, so it will all look like this essentially, but again, this hasn't been, sorry Clifford is going crazy. This needs to all be like finished painted. Um, and then, spin your own this way. How cute is that? You play with your Barbies. I love them. Um, yeah, Penny has a new door. Again, it needs to be painted, so we're gonna change the other doors to match this style because I love it. These are very old. We had these when we moved in the house, like they are 2009, gosh, what's that? 15 years old and they've been through a lot, guys. Um, so yeah, we are gonna change them to those. We just needed to do Penny's. Your elephant? No, my ambulance gone. Ambulance? Yeah. It's in the toy box. We'll go and get it in a second, okay? No, get it. I am now. <laughs> I'm just telling everyone about your new door. Um, oh, I know, we're gonna put it on your wall and put your Tonys in there, aren't we? Um, so yeah, Penny needed a new door because her one didn't shut. Tom's put the missing architrave on and then we just need to get the, this isn't live, don't worry guys, but we need to get the sock in there. You've got your wand. And then in Penny's room, what I need to do is just take these off because they've all started to peel, sand it back and then just, I've got lots of spare um, and just redo that. You've got Isabel. So she's been playing so lovely down here while I've been doing my video Hello. but i am on a huge Hello. toy declutter guys because a lot of this she doesn't even play with um so yeah that is on the agenda over the next coming weeks um and i'm gonna put that little house that she just showed you there on the wall and put her tony's in it because she loves her tony box um but yeah that is the progress so small progress but i'm very happy with it because um it's not been a vibe to see this like obviously with no, no spindles or anything on it um and then the next job is the bathroom that i'm looking at because i'm gonna do a whole video on that when we start it because oh my goodness me it's bad it's so bad guys um but yeah i'm gonna go and import this footage now and then i'll probably speak to you and we'll make some lunch together there you go it is spiders, yeah. For Halloween. For Halloween, yeah. Okay, so I have done my video. It is just doing its thing. Sometimes it takes, um, like when I've uploaded it, it just takes, I don't know, just does some, just some of its stuff on um, YouTube. I am still literally trying to drink my breakfast. I need to like get better. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a potter around because now I can actually see my table. Sorry, you've just been in the kitchen window. Look at that. I know there's stuff on it, but those huge home bargains bags have been on my table. I literally, since Sunday, um, today's Wednesday. So, um, yeah, I want to potter around a little bit. I need to go into the garden and pick up Clifford's mess because it's sunny today. And I just, I like to keep on top of that. Um, we actually bought, let me go and grab it, two secs. If anybody else has got um, artificial grass, I've tried so many cleaners. We actually haven't done it as much as we usually would. Um, I think just because we've been like so busy this year, I feel like it just doesn't stop, especially with football. Um, they haven't really had a break over the summer at all. Um, and to be honest, it sounds like a little bit, like of course you're at home because all my vlogs are always at home, but, <coughs> sorry. I just feel like we haven't had like consistently at home. But anyway, um, I ordered this off of Amazon. I actually just got a couple of bottles of it. Um, but this is the best one that I've tried that um, we really, really like that seems to get rid of the odor. Um, obviously we've got a dog and he does his toilet on the grass. Um, he does go out the front as well um, to do his wees, which we find are the key because his first morning wee are obviously the the smelly ones but yeah this is really good i'll leave a link below i just get it on um amazon like i said and we've got that electric bl brush that is a game changer for cleaning this grass because um it's a little bit like a carpet you know when you hoover your carpet and you get and it pulls a pile up you get your lovely carpet lines it's essentially the same thing so yeah i do really want to give it a bit of a clean before we go into even though it's autumn it's quite much compared to my last vlog where I was telling you we're in the big coats, it's freezing, blah, blah, blah. It's like 17 degrees today. So I have got my jumper on because it's a bit like chilly 
not inside, but we're not in the garden because I've just been so busy um, today filming all my content. I've been to my sister's, I've fed her dog, she's in the office. I've come back, I'm gonna prep me and Penny some lunch. I think we're just gonna have an omelette today. I've not had an omelette for a few weeks because I've been um, just having smashed avocado on um, like the protein bagels, but I just, my legs are so sore guys. Like the bum and the fronts of the legs are legging today. Um, Bulgarian split squats or split lunges, whatever you call them, where your legs raise and you go down with the weight. Oh my goodness me. If you just want to destroy your legs, that's that's the one move that will do it for you. So yeah, it's good that today's my rest day. Um, but I don't know if anybody else gets like this, but I've got a list constantly of things that I need to do. So I always knew today was going to be more of my admin and my YouTube day, like where I'm catching up on things, because that's do you know what, there's so much um, behind the scenes with YouTube that I need to go through and sort out and I just feel like there are not enough hours in my day. Um, and it's just a lot. So I've been really, really overwhelmed. I like, I cried several times yesterday, just keeping it really real. I know sometimes it can also, it's like sunshine and like rainbows and like, it's all amazing, but life is like lifing and there's a lot going on, a lot going on, um, but it's okay. There are a lot worse people like suffering than I am, so it's fine. We'll get through it. I'm very grateful to even be here, so we'll, we'll sort it out. We always do. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Um, I thought we'd have a bit of a potter today, so I'm going to go in the utility. This is your little warning before we go out there, though. Let's try and have a little bit of this because I do need to finish this. I'm going to get my protein up. I feel like that is what helps me recover. So it's not looking too bad out here. You're probably going to be like, are you crazy when I flip this camera around? But <laughs> hear me out. So I've got the small error out because I'm pretty sure this dark load is not completely full. I'm hoping it fits on here just because I feel like this is a bit easier on the eyes than the big error. Um, this is clean washing to go up. I've just got Penny's wooden barbecue here. This is a stash of Christmas stuff. That is going to go in the tool room. Probably later. I just need to sort it out. Um, bits and pieces for ironing that I need to press over. That's my little selling bits. I need to put that away. That just needs to go in the cupboard. And then, um, this isn't going to work, so I need to find some other frames. But when we took Ollie to Tottenham for his birthday, um, we bought some of the prints from the tour. How cute is that? Bless him. Um, so he wants them in frames. I just thought when we redid his bedroom, oh my goodness me, it's all happening here, guys. Um, he had a couple of frames on his wall that he doesn't use. Um, he obviously doesn't want because he's obviously outgrown them. So I thought they would fit in these frames, which would be perfect, but they're too small. Um, so... I might just put this on marketplace and see if there is an Oliver anywhere that might like this with the frame because there's nothing wrong with that. This one, I think the glass is gone though, is it? Is the glass in there? No, are they glass or not? That one is. I think this one's broke. I have a feeling. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just me being a bit crazy. I thought it was broken now. Oh, it's dented there. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I will find a frame to fit his Tottenham pictures. I don't just want to throw that out then. I don't really want to throw that out. Mm. I guess nobody's going to use it though, are they? It's not really in a frame, so I can't really do much about that. But yeah, I'm going to put that in the rubbish pile. We've got like a lot, of, that is wild out there guys. Um, we have got, um, so yeah, I just brought this bag down because this is for Halloween and that is to go up on the touring wall. But, um, what was I gonna say? I've got the cushions. This is what I mean about um, coats. See them hanging on the door? So that hook is gonna go out there and then I can hook all the big coats up. But all the cushions from the furniture in the garden is, all right there now because um they needed to be dried oh, can i stand you in here that would actually be perfect let's see if i can stand you in here and then we can have a chit chat while i do the washing um no you're not going to stand in there oh, 
that's not going to work, is it? Let me put you here. Um, yeah, the sofa cushions all needed to be dried because when we had all that heavy rain, come on camera, um, they were saturated and because the um, material is really, really thick, it, if it's just a shower, the um, water will just repel off, which is fine. Um, but it had got, where it was so, so heavy, it had just gone through. So I had to take the cushions out and dry them out. Honestly, if I would have started vlogging on Sunday, you would have probably thought, what is this crazy person doing? I had big foam cushions up against every kind of like big radiator like that to try and dry them out. Anyway, they are now dry. So Tom's going to take them to the storage unit. Um, just so we've got a little bit of, what's going on with this bucket here? Just so we've got a little bit more space in um our little tool room there if ever if ever you think what's she talking about tool room it's basically that storage room so we don't have anything we don't have a garage or anything here um on this house that's something that i really love this house like i really really love it and we've done we've been here for so long like we moved in here in 2009 um sorry guys i just need to go back to this bucket because it's it's not playing ball with me today um yeah, I do really love it. Like I said, we've been here since 2009, but even though we've got that little tool room, I feel like we can. And Penny's room, is, ah! Penny's room is so small, which was the issue I had when Ollie was in there. Um, because to get a single bed in there, you're getting nothing else in there, which is why obviously we moved his bedrooms around. Um, it's fine for the moment because obviously she's only in her toddler bed so it's not like the end of the world but I just said to Tom like it's just not really an ideal time time to be moving and we bought this house so it was at the time when there was like the stamp duty I don't think we I can't ever remember paying it we may have done but the thought of spending thousands and thousands of pounds on stamp duty makes me feel sick um I know we've got money in the house, but I don't know, it just, you know, you just don't know what you want to do. Does anyone ever get like that? I think it's just me. I think it's just me, because I try and explain this to Tom, and he's like, oh. Again, I don't know if this is just a man thing, but he's like, it's fine, it'll be fine. Which I guess is a good way to look at it, I guess. Positive and everything. Um, But I just feel like we clear something out, and then there's something else to do. Um, but anyway, that's enough of that rambling. So... Very, very productive day today. I felt really overwhelming at one point when I was like, right, I'm filming, editing and getting it up live today because I want to get three videos up this week for you just because I am trying to get all my videos done in October before we move into November because I want to do like full on, we've got stockings, blah, 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 prep for Christmas, you know, you know how it goes. Um, but also I'm on a mission to declutter this house, as I say in every single video, so I've been uploading to Vinted. Um, I've actually had a couple of sales from my followers, followers on here. So thank you guys so much for going over. I really appreciate it. Um, just like helping me clear stuff out. I really, really appreciate it. So if you want to have a little nosy at our Vinted, there's a few little toys of pennies that I am going to start uploading as well, especially this side of Christmas. Um, I've got a bag actually out in that tour room that I've sorted out that needs to go up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. It's my vintage is always linked in the description if you want to have a little newsy over there. Um, but I'm going to do this and then what I'll do, just so you don't have to stare at my back while I do this, I'll come back on when I'm making lunch and we shall make lunch together. Okay, so washing is done. I'm just making an omelette. I didn't really know what I felt like today, so um, I just figured today this is a good way to get some protein in to help with the recovery of the muscles. Um, and Penny will also have some of this, so I'm actually going to make a three egg omelette. Um, I have to make it look like it's my lunch that she's sharing with me, and that way she will eat it. Funny thing, so we had um, some just some wraps the other night, and we typically always eat our tea after the kids, usually when Penny goes to bed to be honest, but um, I think it's a Friday night actually, I'm just adding some pepper um, and a little bit of um, pink salt in there. Um, anyway, yeah, so she came down and she's like, oh, I'm really hungry mummy, and she's, bear in mind she'd had her tea, so she wanted my, I had two wraps, so she wanted my wrap, just going to pull some spinach 
Um, it's already washed and everything. I just literally pull it like that and just drop it in. So she fully sat there and ate this wrap. So I thought, do you know what? That's amazing. She's been a bit fussy with her food. Don't know if anybody else is um, little ones around Penny sort of age. She was three in September, but she just seems to be like refusing everything, but will happily go in the, like what I call our treat drawer. So I need to get the little magnetic lock for that. I was actually saying to my sister about it. Anyway, so the next day I thought, do you know what? I'm make a really nice wrap because it had, um, like it had the fake chicken in, um, it had like lettuce, um, like the usual salady bits, which I know she eats it. Okay, <laughs> that I know she eats, she's shouting out, I love lettuce too. Um, and did she eat it? No, because it was put on her plate and she knew I wasn't having my tea, so she knew it was not mine. Honestly, wild. So if I cook this omelette, and what I'll do is I'll put the whole thing on my plate. I'll just cut some off already. And I'll be like, do you want some? And I'll put it on her plate. I'll do her like a side of brock. Um, sorry, she calls cucumber broccoli. So I say broccoli, but it's not broccoli. I'll do her some cucumber and some peppers. And she loves a bit of red onion as well. She will fully eat all that. So this is what I have to do. So yeah, three egg omelette. I've just literally torn some spinach, put that in there, salt and pepper. Um, I won't add anything else in because I like my veggies like raw. So well, Tom thinks I'm really odd. So I'll just, I don't like to cook the peppers, don't like to cook the onions. I'll just chop it up separately, have it on the side. And then as I'm eating the omelette, I'll put some of the bits on. I've always been like that with food. Anybody else? Anybody else like that? Or again, is it just a an Emma thing? I think I must've been a bit of a, bit of a nightmare for my mum and dad, like, do you know, I was growing up. <laughs> Cause I was really fussy. I didn't really like, I've never really been like a huge, go on boy. I've never really been like a huge meat fan. Um, and yeah, there was quite a lot of, like, in our house growing up, there was a lot of our meals were, sorry, just getting the frying pan, were a lot of meat meals. Um, so yeah, but I feel like Penny, she just, she really likes what I have, which is obviously fine. Um, but she, it has to look like it's fully just being cooked off my plate. Um, so I'm just going to whip up this omelette now and then I'll show you what she's like. So funny guys, honestly. Drowning in my fears is like an ocean Negativity is getting closer How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying Sometimes all you need is a spark Maybe just a better kind of So lunch is done. Let me just show you what we're having. So, um, omelette with, we didn't have any red onion, which is sad, I love red onion. Um, yeah, we literally have the same. So I've just taken the end bit of my omelette, put it there. So we'll see how this goes down. Um, obviously I've got so much washing up to do now. And I'm thinking, so I've put the cloves there. Um, I'm gonna take that up in a second. Um, I need to give the carpet cleaner back to my sister and then I'm going to put this little potty on vintage because she doesn't use in that anymore. Um, and then this should be fairly clean out here. But I might go and pop this on the um, air, the decking, sorry, because it's actually quite sunny out there now. Oh, and she's got her barbecue out. Right? Put your witch's hat. Turn that on. Oh, do you want me to show you where button is? Yeah. Mummy had this on in her video earlier. Her day. Hang on. Oh, 
Tell me. Don't stand on these hooks. Let's move this out of the way. Hopefully Daddy can put these up soon. Not later. It's going to be Halloween next week when Darcy and Ollie are on school holidays. This barbecue set is so cute, actually. I know, yeah, and then what will you say? You'll knock on doors and say, oh, trick or treat. Yeah, I love it. You're going to wear your hat and say, trick or treat. Yeah, I love Why have you got one sock on? Where's your sock gone? Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to give you Actually, I was going to speak to you, actually, about the supplements. Um, thank you so much for all the suggestions. I had a few people mention um, this liquid form that you can get off of Amazon, um, which I probably will still try it because so many people have actually recommended it to me. But in the meantime, I'd ordered this from um, Nutrition Geeks. Their supplements are so affordable, guys. I have... Sorry, she's got really excited now. Where is the magnesium? I also bought... I'm going to put it over here. I also bought magnesium because... Um, I've heard great things about magnesium. Obviously, I give it to the kids, but I just don't give it to myself. Um, so I've got, I ordered a three month supply. So I've actually got a pack upstairs on my bedside table because it recommends that you take it an hour before you go to bed. Didn't kick in last night, obviously with my lack of sleep, but obviously that was my first night taking it. So I'm gonna carry on with this and I will let you guys know how I feel about it. Tom also did, um, a little order with the brand tonic you've probably seen the founder he does a lot of ads on instagram really great things that we've heard about it um but he got this like bundle so it comes with a nighttime drink i'm gonna have one of these tonight actually to see if that helps me um and then some of the daily immunity tabs because we do use those ones from aldi but i thought we'd give these a go because they're kind of like clean it's like a clean supplement nothing in it that it shouldn't be um, and then the boost immunity drink. So we're kind of like trying to look after ourselves. Um, are we gonna, are you watching here? Are you gonna, are you gonna have your lunch here or are you gonna have it in the front room? I'll go and get it because it's charged now. Darcy, oh yeah, I'll put that on for you. Um, hey, no shouting, you can use your words nicely. You don't need to shout. Sorry, she's got no filter on like the volume of her voice. Um, yeah, so we're just trying to like look after our immune systems before we head into winter with all the bugs and things like that that are going on. So, do you want YouTube or Netflix? Netflix. What would you like to watch? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Oh, that's when they meet the Queen. Um, yeah, so she's just going to eat her lunch out here and then I'm just going to take you in the front room. So it's a bit later today for lunch, guys. Okay, turn it off then and choose something else. She's um, gotten very, mm, what's the word? I don't want to say demanding, that's totally the wrong word, but zero patience. <laughs> Is that a nicer way to say it? Um, so she wants what she wants and she wants it now. So I'm trying to just teach her that sometimes, wow, I look so shiny. Um, it is that Laura Mercier, no, it's not Laura Mercier, Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, it borderline looks a little bit wet, actually. Am I greasy? I don't know. Oh, possibly I could be. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to teach her that sometimes we have to wait. We can't get it, like, immediately. Um, so, yeah, we're going to eat our lunch now. I'm just going to do the finishing touches to my video. Um, and then I will pop on with, uh, pop on after. Um, so Ollie has a football match after school. So Tom's going to go and collect him and take him. Um, so they won't be home straight away. Um, and then Darcy has ballet, but it's a bit of a later one. So I think she usually comes home and does her like shower routine that she does. Um, so there's a few, I need to get on my vintage game as well, guys. There's so much I've pulled out that I need to put up for sale but yeah I just felt a bit overwhelmed today with all my filming etc but I'm going to do a little bit of editing now while I eat my lunch multitask and then um I'll catch up with you in a little bit I mean I'm looking around the front room and it needs to be tidied but Spongebob oh okay you're coming in here now are you yeah okay she's coming in here guys so I'll catch up with you after yeah hello guys so it is actually the next day Give me two ticks while I just turn the extractor off. Um, I've just made lunch. So we had omelette again. 
Um, I have been running here, there and everywhere today. So do you ever get those days where you're like all out of sorts? Um, <laughs> that is me today so one of my um lovely followers on instagram let me know that there was um a couple of bit well let me know that there was some bits in the sainsbury's toy cell hold on i haven't done that one have that one a minute um yeah in the sainsbury's toy cell so i actually sent tom there last night after darcy's ballet because she's got later ballet on a wednesday and he, we weren't going to get her. I think I spoke about this before. We, I was toying with the idea of the Barbie dream house because she's absolutely obsessed with anything Barbie. Um, and I just thought I can't do it because there's literally nowhere to put it in the house, like nowhere at all. And this dream house is like obviously a newer version to the dream house that Darcy had. Um, and I just thought like, where on earth is this dream house going to go? Are you going to go under there, camera? Are you gonna fit? So I'm just propping you up next to my Alexa. Um, yeah, I just thought, where is it gonna fit? So we thought, no, we're not gonna do the dream house. So that was that. And then I saw that they, in Sainsbury's, they had the Barbie Wow house, which is not quite as big. Um, and it's reduced from 170 to 85. So we've ended up getting her that. I did wanna get her a pedal bike, um, but I've not got anything yet. If I do get one, I'm probably gonna get one off of Marketplace just because the frog bikes that I love are quite expensive. And for a first bike, they end up just getting like bashed around so anyway the point that i'm trying to make is i bought some bits so i thought i would show you but i need to go and get the bag so you hold on here and i will be happy the bags for life are just the best aren't they um so 8 a.m audi run was back again today poor ollie i was like come on we've got to go we've got to go um but he got up so they actually had some of their wooden bits in today I think this is from the bits that were delayed so they didn't have like the um kitchens and things like that it was more like the smaller sets um I only picked up one of them so I got the wooden baking set it's a 12 piece set it was 9.99 so it's like a little food processor food mixer with a little cake so I just thought that was lovely and I thought she would really love that so I did just pick that up um they also had this Right, this Barbie doodle board, which was $9.99. So she has got a smaller one of these that I got off of Amazon, um, I think last year or the year before. So I'm gonna put that on my vintage or if there's bits missing from it. I don't think there is actually though. I can pop it to the charity shop or just give it away. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, this is just, I have done a rough sort through of her toys, but I need to go back through and be really ruthless because um, yeah, I just, they, they end up with too much otherwise. Um, I picked up this to go in Ollie's stocking, so it's just a small little Lego city set. These were six ninety nine. Um, I probably should have checked in Sainsbury's because I know they've got money off. But I think Asda are also doing an event as well soon. Um, a couple of books to go in Penny's stocking. These were two forty nine each, and she loves. Um, cause these have got like the little flaps in them that you lift up. And you can like, this one would be like, lift the curtains up and so it's how she loves anything like this. So I thought they're really lovely, like traditional looking books as well. Um, so yeah, and she is really obsessed with books. We read a story every night. It's so, like, she's really, that she has to do that as part of her routine and she won't go to bed unless she's read a book. Um, but what I did go in for, which I was giving the heads up, are the marble bears. So I got one for Darcy, one for Ollie. So I think I'm gonna give this one to Darcy. Um, but if you just look on the back, so you get these paints, but obviously you can choose what colour way you want to make the bear. But I just thought, how lovely would that be? And then like, they can just display it in their room. My sisters um, have actually got like bears like that that you get from TK Maxx. I think they're like all the rage. I'm not really into home decor like that, but they, yeah, my sister collects them and the little poodle dogs as well. Um, so yeah, I thought that was brilliant. And then I got the metallic edition for Ollie. So if I show you on the back, would look a little bit like that when he's done. So I thought that was like really lovely, a bit of a crafty present and that was 6 99 So I thought that wasn't too bad at all. Um, so that was Audi and then I knew um, from social media again that they had a couple of new prime flavours in. Um, so I wanted to get them from for Ollie. So he doesn't drink them because I do get comments um, whenever I mention this. He doesn't drink them but we are very much still in the 
prime being displayed on our shelf in our bedroom era he's still not over it um so anytime there's a new prime that comes out he's always wanting it so oh, so heavy guys i went to, and i did manage to get that from him bargain so it's the barcelona prime looks like that 199 who remembers when you had to pay silly money for bottles of prime yes we did fall for that um and the new arsenal prime he is absolutely not an Arsenal fan, but he will purely want it for the bottle because of the collection. So I've got those two for his stocking. Oh, I was meant to put these in the fridge. Penny really wanted these yollies, which are the little yogurt lollies. They just go in the fridge. I picked up a couple more of the vitamin waters, 59p. They were mentioned, I mentioned them in my haul, but I just got some more. Um, and then I got a bubble tea little sheet mask for Darcy's stocking. I think that was 79p. What else did we get? I got her this body oil to go in her stocking. My stockings are coming along really nice now. I think I'm pretty close to being finished. So can't wait to get those videos filmed. Um, but yeah, it's from their little glow range. So I think this is like a dupe for Sol de Janeiro. I don't know if they do the oil. I'm assuming they do because the bottle's all the same. Um, but this is in the scent Pink Lychee and Crystal Waters. So it looks like that. It's just like a body oil, like a moisturiser, I'm assuming. That was 3 99 and then, just some sweets for my sister, sweets for it that Penny picked up. I've got a couple of extra primes for his football friends. And then I just saw these little Christmas tree decor hanging ornaments and I picked them up. So they're from the Nordic Spirit collection, 99p. And they're a really good size as well, like great earrings. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love them. So that is my home bargain that finds. So... I need to give my sister those sweets. What should I do with this? I might run this up actually and put it in the stocking bags very quickly. Then I need to head out and get Ollie. So um, I will pop on and speak to you when I'm back from the school run. Um, but essentially, I need to try and get you now from oh, under there. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't normally do the school run on an afternoon. Tom normally does it, but he's a little bit delayed on the job he's on today. Sorry, guys, that is an awful angle. So he did just call me i got a couple of bits in asda as well um but i'll show you those when i get back um it's like some pajamas and things for penny sorry really bad angle hello nostrils um yeah so i'm gonna head out now but i have to go early um because i literally won't get a space and that is my phone ringing i've got no chance of catching that call because i'm pretty much in my bedroom and i've got so much to sort out in here guys it's crazy so um yeah i'm gonna sort this out and then i will speak to you when i'm back from the school run good morning everybody it feels like it's about 5 a.m when in fact it's definitely not 7 26 but it's so dark um it's not raining but it looks like it's raining but The clocks go back this weekend so it's thoroughly going to be like this for months and months and months and although it's like cozy to start with you do miss seeing like daylight don't you um so i'm just getting ready today's friday last day before half term i'm so excited um no not bella's birthday yet in a couple of weeks it's Bella's birthday but guess what next week Darcy and Ollie don't have to go to school they're on half term whose birthday Bella's no 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 Darcy's birthday uh, no not today Darcy's birthday was a few months ago where's my house in Ollie um yeah Tom was no, not Ollie's birthday. It's Misha's birthday tomorrow, though. Because it is. We um, just had a quick shower, and Tom was like, Ben, come here. And I went in, and he'd been stung by a wasp. He like, looked really confused by it. But the weird thing is, this wasp was, like, just dead on the floor of the shower. So I said, why is it dead? Like, I assumed he'd hit it. He's like, I've been stung. And I said, yes, it's a wasp. They didn't die after a sting that's a bee um so he's got this really 
like nasty. It's like it stung him like here, essentially, on the collarbone, and he started to blister already. But he said it's really sore. So, Alexa, stop. The new Alexa we've got up here. I don't know if I shared. It. I shared it in. Oh, my last haul. I'm just waiting for my um serum to soak in so I can put my moisturizer on. Yeah, I really like it. I'll go and show it to you in a second. Um, it had gone when I, I did link it, but it had gone back up to full price, um, which was like eighty pounds, and I've never paid eighty pounds for an Alexa device. We just had it purely for the rainforest things. The one in the kitchen is linked to our ring, so um, I can obviously I can go and ring on my phone. But if I'm in the kitchen, I don't know who's at the door because sometimes I'm a little bit dubious to answer the door. I can just look over to um, the screen Alex in the kitchen and it will, it will give me like a little glance. But this one's really good because it's slightly stood up like on an angle. My eyebrows are crazy. Um, yeah, and it's got like a little mini screen. More of like an LED screen, not like you can't like see anything on it, like no images. Um, yeah, just really, it's like more modern. Is that the, that's the term I'm looking for? Um, let me show you a second. See, it's quite cute, isn't it? And then, um, Alexa, what's the weather today? In Bristol, it's 14 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Thank you. Yeah, I just think it looks really a little bit different to the little disc. I'll show you how dark it is in a second. Um, I was thinking, I'll open the curtains to let some light in. This is half past seven in the morning. <laughs> um, I need to tidy the garden up. Really, really need to tidy the garden up. Sorry, there's probably Clifford's mess out there I need to do as well. And I can't wait to get rid of this deck in. In all honesty, I said to Tom, when we get to March next year, we just get over winter. When we get to March, the decking is being ripped up. Um, I'm very quickly going to make my bed. So that's one job that I don't have to do when I get back from dropping Ollie. And then I'll, we'll go and see how Tom's sting is. <laughs> it's really dark this morning, isn't it? Oh. Where's my t-shirt on the floor? Oh. Um, shall I order the beading for the um, stairs? What do you think? Because I want it finished. Is it acceptable to say that? that um I've got some after bite cream do you want that it's not hurting that much are you joking is it not hurting that much because I've got my camera out or it's just generally not hurting that much okay so whoa um, look at all these flies. Why are they there? Look at, that's the flies that I could see last night. Where? There, look. Mm. That's so weird. So first things first, iron tablets. Have you been taking one? Got one. No. Okay. You keep saying you magnesium last night. No, because... I'm really scared of this magnesium. But I did still wake up once. You didn't? So somebody wrote to me and said that um, you might, because I said we, I got up really early yesterday. So we started taking magnesium the same time as I started taking this. Um, and it's this it says to take on an empty stomach with orange juice. That's fine, that's what I've been doing. The magnesium it says to take an hour before bed. So I just keep the pack upstairs so I know to take it when we're up there. And the two nights that we've taken it, I thought it was just me being a weirdo, having some random dreams. I woke up, I can't even tell you how many times I woke up, and then Tom said, I woke up as well, like every hour. 
So I was like, okay, it's just off. I don't know what it is, fluke. The next night, same thing happens, and I wake up at like 5 a.m. Anybody who knows me knows I am not a morning person. 5 a.m. is definitely not my wake up call. And I was like, I feel like it's having the opposite effect of what it should be having. So then somebody said, well, 5 a.m. might be, it's, might be the time you're due to wake up because it's made you have a better sleep. But it didn't make me have a better sleep, but maybe I had a worse sleep. Um, so I didn't take it last night. And I did still get up. Are you going now? Yeah. Okay. Bye. I did still get up Bye. twice, I think. Bye. In the night. But I could go back to sleep, whereas the nights before it's taken me ages to go back to sleep. But I'm really sad because I really want to take magnesium. I might try it again tonight because it's the weekend tomorrow. But, oh, that's not the one when you've just brushed your teeth. Oh, um, yeah, I can't, I can't function like that when um, I'm like doing my workout plan. And obviously, I, Penny's not a baby anymore. She doesn't nap. She has no daytime naps. None. Um, so it's really, really hard because when she was like little, if I... Excuse me. Oh, bless me. When she was little, if I'd had like a really awful night's sleep, I could just obviously cuddle, sit on the sofa, relax. She's not like that now. She's a very active three-year-old. Um, so we will see. My workout today isn't too bad for this. It's more of a mobility exercise with there are some strength exercises in there but it says it only takes 25 minutes so if i do go to my sister's and do it in her gym which i have been doing um i may do a little 15 20 minute peloton um because she's got the peloton bike she has um like she pays for this membership thing i don't know and she's got all these different classes so i might do like a hilly mountainous bike ride really just tear the legs to pieces <laughs> um but i'm gonna go and make sure everybody's ready it's so annoying in aldi they only had this water which doesn't fit in our fridge really hard to pick up so i need to call in there and see if they've got some of the two liter bottles um because we've been going through our water like crazy um what else i need to get penny dressed and we need to get on our way so i will speak to you after the school run we're not doing too bad for time right now. Tom's gone out earlier, actually. Um, but yesterday we left early, obviously, to go to Aldi. Oh, I didn't show you the Asda bits. I'll show you when I get back, because it's quite dark outside, and it's probably not going to do it any justice in my spotlight lighting out here. Um, so, yeah, I will show you the little PJ bits that I got for um, Penny for Christmas. So that way, if anybody's interested, whatever, you've got some um, time to go and get it. But I will see you after the school run. Okay, it is fully raining. Um, I feel a bit lost, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put you in the window a second. Just because I feel like this camera shakes around a lot. But um, my sister came and got Penny. Um, we are fully in the three-nager. Three-nager, well, however you say it, with Penny. I remember going through this with Ollie. Clifford's coming out to make a cameo. Um... Yeah, we're fully in that with Penny, and she is independent, very strong-willed, <laughs> knows what she wants to do. Hi, boy. Come here to say hello. I know, I miss you. So, um, she has gone, well, she went to my sister's while I took, good night, when I took Ollie to school, and she's still there at the moment. She said she didn't want to come home just yet. So I've come home. I've just spent so long putting footage on my laptop. I don't know what's going on my laptop. It's um not living its best life at the moment. I can only add like small amounts of footage at a time because it tells me there's no storage and there's nothing on this laptop. I just use it purely for browsing like the internet um, and doing my videos. I've made sure not to put anything else on it at all. Um, so yeah, that's... Oh, so tired. That is an issue I need to figure out. But I figured while 
she didn't want to come home so I thought I'm gonna crack on and finish my cleaning video because the house is looking all kinds of crazy and do you know what I haven't really deep cleaned the kitchen for a while so I've put my long top on as you can see can you see we've got full bum coverage today guys <laughs> So I figured I'm just going to get on top of downstairs. Wow, it's really heavy rain. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this if I flip the camera around. Yeah, you can. Can you see that? So grey as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on with that and I will come on and catch up with you um, once that's done. That will all be, that will already be up on my channel. That is part of a cleaning video that I'm doing. Um, and then depending how quickly I can crack on with it, um, I might be able to start upstairs because I want to like scrape the stairs with my scrapey tool. I'm sure I've showed you this before. Um, it's just off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to it. It's only a couple of pounds, but can you see... It's got like bits of grime in mine but can you see there it's got like like a bit of a forked edge you really get in the carpet and Clifford's fur is wild so it really pulls the carpet up just so much more than just hoovering um so yeah I'm gonna go now Friday therapy is gonna be blitz in the house <laughs> oh, so early it's actually not but I know some people that is just Clifford sorry he gets so excited. Um, 10 to 7. Nobody else is up apart from me and Clifford, apparently. Um, I'm just having my iron tablet with my orange because it's got, I've got to have it like on an empty stomach. Clifford, shh. I'm not really a fan of orange juice. Yeah. But I thought I would really quickly show you. Um, what I picked up in Asda last night because um, I'm about to hide some of it away so that way I can do it before more so Ollie Darcy was with me um, but more so before Ollie wakes up so um, where should we sit uh, let me flip the camera around okay so they had an offer um, if you've got the Asda rewards card two of the Christmas chocolates for, well they're meant to be, what are they meant to be? £4.50 each, so it'd be £9, and you saved £4, so they were five. So I just picked up two of these to put away. Um, these Hershey bars were on offer for a pound each, so I got those for our stock in. I may just give him that instead of a selection box, because because I know he eats that. Um, and then advent calendars. I didn't go up there for advent calendars. I don't know how we fell into this aisle, but I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to get them now. Um, so this is Darcy's one. She went with the candy kittens one. This one was the most expensive, actually. This one was £11. Um, you get 24 different jellies. She actually really likes the candy kitten jellies. Um, I got all the Hershey's one again. He had this last year and loved it. It was um, £6. And then for Penny, I just got her the Kinder one um, because this one's just got the milk minis in. It doesn't have the, like, buenos and things like that. And she loves Kinder chocolate. Um, so I got her that one that was £4.50. And then other than that, I just picked up a few. They've got, like, really good bits and pieces in there. At the end of the aisle, they've got these, like cardboard stands with clearance bits in sorry my hair is an actual vibe um so i picked up some ginger ray bits for next year for penny's birthday um so i got these little unicorn cake toppers they were in clearance for one pound 25 um and then i got a pack of napkins again unicorn um they were 125 as well and then just a pack of plates cute like unicorn castle and then i've got this banner set which you just change the age on again it's all ginger ray and this was 225 um so i'll put that away in my little birthday decoration box um and yeah i've just texted my sister so i've had my iron tablet and I um I look like I've not slept for seven years. 
but I'm gonna brush my teeth just so I don't wake everybody up I bring my toothbrush down here so I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna head out the door I think she's picking up but I need to remember to take my airpods today um because I think I'm gonna do Stairmaster again I really love the Stairmaster and I think I'm gonna watch a vlog <coughs> oh I feel really congested I think I'm gonna watch a vlog um while I do it but yeah I'm gonna put the camera down now because he is literally <laughs> running around with a crock in his mouth I know I know um but yeah I'll speak to you in a little bit thank you hello hello uh, she's got our toast why are you eating our toast are you eating toast oh who's your friend <laughs> <laughs> have we brought him in you don't want to like that anymore Okay. Who's your friend, Penelope? Oh, okay. Clifford's saying hi. Good morning, Clifford. Right, good okay. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. Ready, Ollie? And I'm just gonna look. Oh, duck for the hats. <laughs> Ollie spent yesterday. Hi, These are really good actually lit up. I just put them on like little command hooks and then the controller bits there. Now let me go up this way, put those shoes on so I don't want to get wet feet. Oh. Giant spider. And then we need to get some more um, compost to go up there, get rid of the weeds. This front garden and the wall. We need to figure out what we're doing with the wall. Come on, get your ball. We're going in. Um, yeah, with the wall, it was when we, when my mum and dad bought the house, because they had it originally, we were, we rented it off of them. And this was all like a little bit like next door. I don't know if show their garden, but it had no drive and it was um, uh, like had a gate. Cause it was like an older um, family that lived here. And we obviously knew we needed a drive because we've got like two cars in the um house so yeah my dad had the drive put in um but i don't know i just don't think it was done properly because it's a bit difficult because the drive and obviously we've got the steps so it's higher than the house um so i don't know whether the footings weren't done properly or i don't know whether they didn't use the right stuff to um do the wall but anytime we paint it it just flakes off so the very front wall, I don't think you're going to be able to see, but there, we are eventually getting rid of that. And this bit of grass, we're going to tarmac, but I am going to leave the border where the tree is because I do want some, like, plants, that sort of thing. And I want the tree there. I love that flamingo tree. And we're going to get rid of the block paving and eventually that's going to be tarmac because, oh, if any of you have to deal with block paving as well, you will know the struggle with um, weeds it is crazy. Um, it doesn't matter what you use doesn't matter like we could completely spend hours out there weeding it and then like a month later it's just filled back up again um so yeah we do eventually want to get tarmac but I'm just like toying with the idea of is this like our long-term home um and where we live the house prices are absolutely ridiculous so if we stay where we are like in this area this will probably have to be our home um Otherwise we could, I just like the idea of being like in the country more. Um, it's just a bit too built up for me, but excuse the decking, you'll see now. The hole has got so much worse guys. And I washed all the glass on the doors yesterday, completely lost my footing and fell down there. Um, we've still just got the Ninja out, so we've been using that quite a lot actually. Um, but Tom treated the grass yesterday, so we're going to take the sand pit down, I think I mentioned that, because it doesn't have a cover and it's just going to end up like rotten and go mouldy over winter, right? No. Oh. I can't put my socks on. I'll come do it now. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, what was I saying? But yeah, Tom cleaned the grass because it's not been done. We've let it slip a bit this year and obviously with Clifford we need to just make sure it is nice and clean. Um, I know, well, yeah, I'm talking about you, aren't I? Um, so yeah, it looks so much nicer out there now. Um, so we've sorted out the little shed as well and put a lot of the stuff in, but I do wanna, I don't really want her cozy cube being left out. Um, that side I still need to sell. And we've stacked 
all of the patio furniture that I need to get a cover off of Amazon for that. The cushions are down in our storage unit, so that's all sorted. Um, and yeah, Ollie just always plays with his like brooder diggers and things he likes to dig up my flower bed. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much on top of the jobs in the house we just need to do um like finish the internally bits like the stairs and the carpets but it's moving along slowly <laughs> um so yeah it's so today's sunday ollie's got football but because the clocks have gone back we're like we've got like a little bit of extra time because there's no way i mean penny clearly isn't ready she's in her pajamas living her best life um but yeah i'm gonna just do a little bit of editing i think and then have a bit of a nice non rush for morning um and yeah i'll probably catch up with you after football it is my sister's birthday so we need to go around at some point and give her her card um and i want to pop in the shops and get her like a bunch of flowers as well